his resignation saying he's leaving for another head coaching opportunity in high school football. It's in a metropolitan area, but he isn't quite ready to publicly announce just where yet that announcement should happen in the next few days. The Gates County native took over the Bears program four years ago. It culminated with Newburn winning the 4A state title. Nowell says this is all about what's best for his family and nothing to do with the recent issues involving suspended principal Jerry Simmons. I have now received that opportunity to move to an area as close to my wife's family, you know, and um, when I came here, I was a newlywed, you know, and now I've become a father and it's starting to understand more that family is a little bit more important than everything else. So I just want to make sure I give my wife the same opportunity that I've had to be close to my parents and do different things. Tough to leave this at the end of the school year when you're just getting ready to kind of prepare for this next year. Yeah, and our guys had an excellent spring football. It's never a good time to leave also, you know, so that's a big thing. And the big thing for me is just making sure that I talk with my wife and my family and just make sure that they, they are behind me 100% and I'm behind them. Kids are always going to be a little hurt by stuff when they get left. But what's your message to these kids uh, that, are, that are staying here? Hey, man, I love you guys. Um, I tell people all the time, I don't try to build I don't try to build teams. I try to build programs. And with programs, they last forever. You know, teams come and go, but programs last forever. So I expect those guys to get right back after it, keep rolling, keep growing. I will expect to see them in the third or fourth rounds at some point. You know, that's kind of how things roll. So definitely thankful and blessed for the opportunity to be here in Craven County. I did ask Tori about the recent suspension of Principal Jerry Simmons, who was a big key in hiring Tori for the job at Newburn. I have the reaction to that question on my Facebook page. Newburn posting the job opening last night. They'll go through the formal hiring process. They hope to have a new head coach in place by the start of fall practice July 31st. In the meantime, Tori says he'll stay on the job until June 30th. The current assistant coaches will continue to run the team through summer drills. Wake Forest baseball team had another thriller last night. They rallied to beat LSU, starting with some good defense and then some offense by Bennett Lee, the catcher, getting it done on both sides. As Wake Forest now one win away from going to the College World Series final, and they feel like they can do no wrong. But I watch them have so much fun, and I go out there and I'm like, how, how can we lose? You know, every single guy is having the time of their lives right now. Like, we're, who can beat us? You know, it, it seems you know, pretty much impossible. So the amount of fun that we have is truly incredible. We'll see if those good times continue. Again, the Deeks need one more win to get into their first College World Series final since 1955. All right, big day of elimination games. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12. One word, rain. We'll see you tomorrow, folks.